Hi everyone, this video share with you the way I'm actually farming for runes, uh, the fastest way for me to level up in Elden Ring. So basically, that's what you see here. I'm farming the last boss uh, in Elden Ring and I do it in a group in co-op. Now, the best way is of course to do it with friends. However, I do it with random, still I'm leveling up like crazy. I try many other things like dragons, this is by far the fastest one. Now there are some caveats for that, I'm going to talk in a moment. First of all, using of course the uh, gold pickle fall food, the moment uh, we are about to eliminate the boss. And don't forget the gold scary talisman, which from what I know increases the uh, runes that you get by 20%. And Lord's divine fortification using faith build. And this is good for the second phase, especially when lots of players that I play with actually died uh, for the only damage for different reasons. However, the thing is that you're going to say, well, I tried, so many people failed. Yes, when I played in the last three days, uh, when I got back to Elden Ring, I just helped others, different bosses. Now, today I wanted to level up, so I needed to focus on basically being with a good team. But because I play with randoms, it doesn't happen quite frequently. So the way to do it is, first of all, I recommend not ditching during the fight. I never do that. This is just frustrating even when I play, somebody ditches. However, before the fight, if you do it, this leave, give time for the other players to actually invite other players to join them. Now, because I failed so many times with randoms, uh, I have some indications uh, which I'm going to share with you. So first of all, uh, when people are preparing for the fight, buffing up, this is a good indication that people are really, well, serious about winning the fight. Uh, this is what I do, that many other people do, and in many cases, we actually see people buffing them up, uh, it's usually turned out uh, for the good. The other thing, when I see people not wearing, for example, armor, just going like, let me sell her, in many situations, the combat just failed. Also, again, in only we are three players. Uh, the reason for that, of course, that if the other player, not the horse, dies, we can still continue uh, and still win. The other thing is that aggro. Uh, if one player get aggro, the other thing have more time to heal, prepare, reposition, especially if they are sorcerers, uh, they don't want the aggro. So the higher chances uh, for us to win if you are playing three. Think of it like having like two smart mimics playing alongside you. And the third reason is buffs. Uh, I usually bring buff to buff my team because many others don't do that. Uh, but I come with a support type of, if you can, with a support type of build, so you can, at least again, some incantations, <laughs> that's what I do. And basically, I buff uh, the team, usually in the second phase, to protect them against holy. But you can do this also uh, for lighting damage, and basically, uh, support your teams so they won't die. This is great, by the way, if you're getting close, for example, at the second stage, uh, when you're close and hitting the boss, and players are actually there, use the buff instead of attacking first, so you can buff them up, and you're ready to go. Because again, when you're playing random, people run in different directions, they don't really come to you, they don't know if you're going to buff them up, so just do their thing. So if you're close and attacking, you can just spend, you know, instead of one or two hits, just do the buff and protect them. And of course, before the end, don't forget to pop up the, the buff that allows you to gain more runes, and overall, this works amazingly well for me. I'm just leveling like crazy. Now, it's important to know that if you can carry the first one, do it. I mean, get the aggro, deal lots of damage. That's what I do. Usually, when you get to the second stage, it's much easier for players. So it seems some people combat the second stage is much harder. But most of the time, people, I, when I fail, people just don't get to finish the first stage. In the second stage, again, as I told you, I have more time to actually buff them up and protect them against uh, holy damage. So that's one of the reasons we are staying strong. So there's going to be a situation where you're going to save yourself time and also for other players. But... The thing is that uh, in many cases, it's going to be situations where for plus, maybe it's just the first five, they're trying to get help for the boss. That's why before that, all I did was just helping out. And just today, I decided to level up fast and focus on that. So again, keep in mind that not everybody are, you know, high level. Some people just need help and they are struggling like I did, of course, when I did the first fight and just want help. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Level up fast and enjoy.